Hi, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Clickbaity headline, isn't it? But it does get you thinking. Emma Hayes, is she good enough to manage in the Premier League? Is she good enough to manage in the Championship? Will she be the first, the first female coach at a major club to make that step over into the men's game? Somebody's got to do it, right? Why not it be? Emma Hayes, of all people. The woman is an absolute legend. She's been at Chelsea now for 10 years. Her FA Cup win there last weekend is an 11th major trophy. I just wonder what else there is for her to sink her teeth into at that club. Of course, it's the Champions League, the Holy Grail. It's the, the trophy that she must dream of touching and kissing and hanging that medal up on the light in her kitchen. But it's not happened yet. But I wonder if football misses out on having that female coach then coming over and making that step into an unknown territory, shall we call it. Especially here in England, it is still very much a man's game. I'm here all the time speaking on behalf of women's football and trying to relate to players, trying to feed out um, to press what it's like being a women's player and why they feel so sometimes unfairly treated and how the game is changing. That's the main thing, isn't it? It's developing, it's moving. The next step, I think for me, is to see women move into men's roles because we see male managers here in the Women's Super League every other day. In fact, if I can list them, I think it's it's maybe half would be male. Who have we got? We've got Jonas Edeval, uh, Arsenal. We've got Mark Skinner at Manchester United. We've got Gareth Taylor at Manchester City. We have got Matt Beard coming up as well. Forgive me if I've forgot any other men. Of course, we've got Darren Carter, who came over from uh, Birmingham men. Marcus Bignot, who was working at uh, Birmingham as well. And there would be many more. My point is, though, it's so okay for men to work in the women's game, but we've not seen a female take up that role yet in the men's game and somebody who's more than qualified to do it. I'm not saying women deserve jobs in the men's game to balance it out. I think she is absolutely more and well than capable. Because I'm a bit sad and I'm a little bit obsessed with Emma Hayes, I've just been reading her Wikipedia. And she really is somebody you have to credit in terms of who's going away and learn her craft. Um, and she's a very educated person as well. You know, she's got a degree in international affairs. She wanted to be a spy when she was growing up. That's what she saw herself doing. So that gives you an idea of what kind of character she is. She gets to know people. She knows everything about anything. It might not necessarily be a good thing, but she is the one with the finger on the pulse. And of course, she comes with a big background of a CV. She's been everywhere. I once heard a, a phrase, I think, coming from her dad at one point. He'd said that uh, she always claimed to be born in London but made in America because of the time that she spent uh, over in the States. Of course, she managed Chicago Red Star in 2008. She had lost her job after a short time and that absolutely, you know, hurt her. It made her get up, get hungry and go again. And then in 2010, she was at Western New York Flash and she man managed the transfers of the players that came into the club. And they went on to win the Professional Soccer Championship as well. So that was her first taste uh, for getting it right and identifying good players and, and, and winning. And of course, then coming back to Chelsea... And, and, and coming there in 2012, 2013. She's been there for a number of years now. She knows that club inside out. We see the relationship she's got with our staff members. We see the relationship she's forming with the men's side as well. Perhaps with the changes that's happening at Chelsea, we're going to see Emma Hayes move over to the men's side of Chelsea. Is that possible? Is that something that can happen? Could she be assistant to the likes of Thomas Tuchel? Is she qualified? The answer is yes. And I think another thing that's really spoken for Emma Hayes as well is getting to hear her co-commentary in the Euros last year when she was speaking um, for, for England. She was on ITV Sport uh, doing the co-commentaries. She was trending. People couldn't believe her insight. And I think that's ignorant that you assume because she's a woman and she's not worked in the men's game that football is different. It's not. It's the same sport. And she is so qualified in that department that... She was the perfect person to, for me to sit back and go, okay, let's hear the boss woman talk about football and let's see men change their opinions on what she knows because she knows absolutely everything. And don't forget, you know, she's been around for a long, long time. She was part of, before we're going to America, the Arsenal backroom staff that won the quadruple in 2006 and 2007. And 
It's funny because up until the weekend when, when it was thought that Liverpool could go on and win a quadruple, which has never been never been this close in May for a team to do that, but Arsenal women did it and she was part of that squad. She was working with those squads week in, week out, training them hard. And I, I heard from Emma Byrne, former um, Republic of Ireland captain, former Arsenal goalkeeper, who was in that squad at the time, how she worked was getting very close to the mentality of the player, you know, getting to build that relationship with them and letting them know that, you know, it's all up here, you know, you're a very strong-minded person and and making sure they grind out results that way. And that's not changed. So you're going back, what, 15 years now to that time. And what we've seen from Chelsea and their mentality this season, obviously it's just been her way throughout her career is that you teach your players that. What we've seen is them going, you know, to 90 minutes and then all of a sudden Sam Kerr getting a goal in the, the, the final dying minutes of injury time and stoppage time. So she knows how to win football. She knows how to win games. And for me, I feel now we need that that woman who's going to blaze a trail into the men's game because it's good to see crossovers. And I think if you were coming to me and saying, yeah, well, you know, Hope Powell could be qualified. I'm not saying that she's not. But in terms of what we're seeing from the Chelsea squad week in, week out, year on year, and the growth and the players that are coming in, why shouldn't it be Emma Hayes to make that move? I think she could she could quite easily, with knowing the Chelsea club, be in the backroom staff there, if not more, assistant to Thomas Tuchel. We're seeing their relationship grow. We're seeing pictures of them on social media. They're sitting together at dinners, a very tight conversation. Is something growing there? Am I onto something? I think I might be onto something. But could you imagine it? Could you imagine the excitement of when that happens? What that will mean to women's football <clears throat> when a manager of her stature makes the crossover into the men's game? And usually I'm always sitting here fighting for people to want to enjoy women's football. So why should I be pushing for women to go into men's football? But of course, you know, in 2021, I think it's May 21, she got that offer from AFC Wimbledon. Well, the rumours were she got the offer from AFC Wimbledon. And she was brilliant because she came out and said, I work with, you know, the best athletes, professionals, week in, week out. We win everything, you know, okay, apart from the Champions League. That's an insult for me to be the first woman to go into men's football, but to go to AFC Wimbledon because, well, no disrespect, but what had they been doing at that time? And she feels she's better than that. She knows that the position she's in for women's football is better than AFC Wimbledon. Of course it is. But people then are looking to see that first woman that's going to make that first step over. I see her above League 2, League 1. She could walk into a championship team now. I've no doubt about it. But could she be a key part of Thomas Tuchel's squad next season? I'll leave you with that thought. It comes after she denied that she was going anywhere but staying at Chelsea. It was after the FA Cup win, of course. Remember, the rumours started circulating on Twitter that she was leaving the club. Well, she's defended her place. She said, I'm under contract at Chelsea. Does that mean something? Is Emma Hayes going over to the men's side? <laughs>